The Lancet has launched a special series on stillbirths. The most recent data shows 2.6 million stillbirths occur globally each year, at least 7,000 a day. So this problem is really a huge number. This number, 2.6 million, is more than the total number of AIDS deaths and malaria deaths put together. Now, it's not a competition with AIDS and malaria, but if you think how many times you hear about those in the media versus stillbirths, you can see that the data isn't really driving our dialogue here. We need to change the dialogue. 98% of stillbirths occur in low- and middle-income countries, but it's also a significant concern in rich nations, with around 1 in 320 babies stillborn. In the UK, which ranks 33rd out of 192 nations, stillbirths considerably outnumber sudden infant death syndrome. Uh, so when we look at the UK at the moment, it's about 300 deaths due to sudden infant death syndrome per year. Uh, we're looking at stillbirth overall, uh, we're looking at over 4,000 stillbirths, and a very substantial proportion of those, about a third, would be the sort of SIDS equivalent, where this is just a perfectly formed baby uh, that dies in utero without any clear uh, explanation. The numbers were made very real as assembled press heard an emotional account of the devastating effect stillbirth has on parents. I'd just like you to imagine being catapulted from the joyous anticipation of a, day, a baby's birth to the despair and devastation of a stillbirth. I'd just like you to imagine your partner, ashen white, trembling in shock, rocking your dead baby in her arms. Just like to imagine having to tell friends, families, grandparents that there is no baby. I don't have to imagine all that because at 7.40 p.m. on the 30th of September 1995, our perfect baby boy Matthew was still born at 38 weeks. No complications, no issues, no explanation. And in the UK today, 22 parents don't have to imagine either. The series also includes a vision for 2020, setting out a number of effective interventions and targets for reducing stillbirths. The goals have been set to be that countries with a stillbirth rate of less than 5 per thousand should eliminate all preventable stillbirth and close the equity gaps. For countries with a current stillbirth rate of more than 5 per thousand, the goal should be to reduce the stillbirth rate by at least 50% from the 2008 rates. The hope is this Lancet series acts as a catalyst for change so that millions of children have the chance to live. And you can ask any parent across the world about their stillbirth baby and thousands and millions like them. They do matter. They are real, they are loved and they are never ever forgotten. I was, I am and I always will be Matthew's dad.